from Victory Lutheran Church in Mesa, Arizona. I'm Pastor Todd Matheson. Thanks for joining with me for some daily hope. In a world where love is often defined, I, I'd say, by fleeting emotions and conditional affection, the biblical understanding of agape love offers a profound contrast. Agape love is not merely a feeling, but a decisive act of the will, a choice to love without condition. The Apostle John in the Bible provides profound insight into the nature of this love, where he writes, we love because he first loved us. I think this, this statement captures the heart of divine love. God initiates this love and then empowers us to reciprocate to him and to extend this agape love to others. And isn't it a transformative understanding that our capacity to love is a direct result of God's prior and unmerited love given to us? John elaborates further. This is love. Not that we love God, but that He loved us and sent His Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Here, agape love transcends just mere description and it manifests itself in action. God's love is active and it's sacrificial, not passive or abstract. And ultimately, divine love, God's agape love, is vividly demonstrated in Jesus Christ. The Bible says, This is how God showed His love among us. He sent His one and only Son into the world that we might live through Him. This act of sending His Son is love that's it's action. It's love that sacrifices, love that redeems. As followers of Jesus Christ, living continuously in God's love I think allows us to reflect that same grace and love toward others. It's not about striving in our own strength, but about responding to the profound love and grace that God pours into our own lives. And I think when we grasp this, our lives begin to offer and reflect this divine pattern of love to others. Loving others not out of obligation, but as a reflection of the love that we have received. In understanding and embracing this divine love, we find the truest expression of our faith and the most authentic response to the greatest commandments to love God and to love others. And you know what? It all starts and indeed ends with God's profound love for us. It's a love that calls us to live not for ourselves, but for Him and for others in the power of the Holy Spirit. Join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, we humbly acknowledge that our ability to love stems from You first, You loving us. Help us to embrace and extend this sacrificial love then to others, not as a burden but as a grateful response to your grace and your action. May our lives be a continual testament to your love lived out in the power of the Holy Spirit in our relationships with one another. I ask this in your precious name. Amen. Hey, thanks for joining with me today. I invite you to like and share clips like this one and also to subscribe to Victory's YouTube channel. And take a minute to leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus our Lord.